Samuel, and I'm here with the legendary Poppy. <laughs> How are you? I'm very good. And you? I'm fine too. Thank you. Tell me first of all, what are you wearing? Okay. I'm wearing a Saint Laurent vintage jacket, and I'm wearing Versace, and this is Tom Rebel, and this is Tom Sauker. These two are German designers, French designer, Italian designer, and the shoes are also Tom Rebel. So, that yeah. looks really hot. Thank you. <laughs> Could you tell us what is your inspiration when you're standing in the front of the mirror? What is your inspiration? How do you dress up? How do you put things together? Oh, you know, this. I think there's no secret. It's just about personality. I'm just like, you know, my personality is extrovert and avant-garde. I just want to do something that people, you know, what is meant avant-garde, that people don't see now. Maybe they, they see it extreme or they see it in future, you know. So it's that's why I look at myself and I say, okay, wear something that you say, oh my God, it's too much. And I said, okay, go out, then it's okay. <laughs> Have you sometimes wear something where you saw it like in the press and you were like, oh my God, did I really wear that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's after, yeah, of course. Because you see in the mirror, you said, oh my God, it's too much. And after you see in the picture, you said, was it me? No, I think it was too much. But that's okay, you know. That's how it have to feel, I think, fashion. This is fashion talking is about avant-garde. So you know it better than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what I really wanted to know is um, you lived in Paris. And how do you move from Paris to Munich? And why Munich? Okay, actually I have to say, I lived in Paris because I was studying in Paris. And actually, I met so many talent scouts in Paris. They wanted to make me model. And I said no, because I wanted to study. And one day I go to Milan and I met a woman. She was fantastic, fabulous. And she put me in fashion. I said no, but she's still like hitting me, calling me. And I said, okay, then I try. Then I tried, but everybody was saying in Milan, it's impossible, it's impossible for black men. I said, no, I would make it because I hate when people talking about impossible. Nothing is impossible, you know. So why Munich? Because I find out also Munich is the latest city that people also still talking about black model doesn't work. And the same word coming back, impossible. That's why I move here. Now I want to make it possible. So why not? More fashion for Munich. <laughs> And um, talking about um, people with different, um, with a different color of skin and people who look different, if there's something you want to tell them, what would you tell people if you hear, I mean, I myself do not look like a German, <laughs> and I mean, I hear it a lot of times, no, we can't work with you and stuff like that. What could you, what, which advice could you give somebody? I would say that beauty is no color, it's no weight, it's no age. You know, it's no city, it's no country, it's just beauty, you know, and when we're talking about fashion, we're talking about beauty, life is life, and I think we're on the 21st century, we should overcross all this shit, you know, so people have to be no ignorant, wake up, it's 21st century, color doesn't exist, we're in neutral. Yeah. And my last question, who is your favorite designer and oh why? Oh <laughs> I think this is a trick question and I don't want to answer about it. <laughs> Darling, I'm a model. <laughs> okay, right. Express, you yeah, know that. In private, I will tell you, but okay. I cannot do it. That. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's my pleasure. Be sure to get his outfit once again. <laughs> the nice shoes. Okay, Tom Rebel, Versace, Yves Saint Laurent Vintage, Tom Rebel again, Tom Sauker. And this is a vintage. No, no name. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.